Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Faith and Purpose Podcast. This is season two, episode three, and today I have a very special guest, my sister, a woman of God, a music minister, a founder of a podcast called Ephatha Experience. She's also the co-founder of The Intrigued Woman. And additionally, she's a life and purpose midwife. She doesn't call herself a coach. She calls herself a midwife because she helps people birth their dreams into existence. Join me to welcome my dear sister, Adiola Efoye. <laughs> How are you? How are you, sis? I'm good. I'm so excited to be on the show today. Sing here. So good to have you on the show. So before we dive right in, just tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, I did a quick intro, but for those who don't know you, just who, you know, who are you? What are your passions? One fun, fun, fun fact about you as well that people may or may not know. Okay. So my name is Victoria Yanulua, like Ogechi, Ogechi mentioned. I'm also, some people call me Adio Life Mwoye. I'm an IT security specialist. And when I'm not looking for vulnerabilities in uh, systems, um, you will find me either recording a podcast or cheering someone on. Um, I'm the co-founder of the Intrigued Woman um, platform. It is a social economic platform where we, we, we spotlight leading women, trailblazing women across the world, and we cheer them on. Um, so many people doing, so many women doing great things are ho- being overlooked in the society. Mm-hmm. And so this is the, pr- this is the reason why um, we're doing what we do as an intrigued woman. Um, also the host of the Ephatha Experience podcast. Um, it is a Christian podcast and you can find us on all social, um, all podcasting platforms. That's amazing. Fun fact. Fun fact yeah. Fun fact about you. <laughs> okay. I'm left-handed. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay. I'm left-handed and I know it might sound crazy. When I was in uni, I would always save up my pocket money to buy shoes. (laughs) So when it's time for me and my friends to go to church or to go for a wedding, I always have something different to wear because I saved up some money. They, they would just wear, for them, they would just wear something that they wear to school on a regular, but for me, they were like, oh, why, where did you get that? I'm like, it's part of the money. I saved it up. So <laughs> about me. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. So we're going to go into a quick icebreaker, ask you some more questions just for folks to know you on a deeper level and also just, you know, to break the ice. So um, I'm going to ask you, what's your favorite season? Fall, winter, spring, summer? What's your favorite time of the year? My favorite season, spring, of course. Nice. I'm wearing yellow, you're wearing blue. Yeah, spring colors, eh? Spring colors. Spring is the best season ever. The I agree with you. Ever. I agree with you. I love spring. Everything yes. Is everything is coming back to life. Mm. Reminds me of that song, From the Colors of Fall to the Fragrance of Spring. So yeah, those colors you talked about. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Um, comedy or romantic movies? What's your preference? Hmm. Or you like both, and it's okay. Some people love both, before right? I got mar- before I got married, I used to be a romantic, but now I prefer comedy. I want something that will make me laugh. Light, exactly. <laughs> the business of the day, in the business of the week, in the in the, with everything that is going on in the world, I want to laugh. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Me too. I, after a long week, comedy just helps me relax my nerves and just you know loosen up after all the stress. So you're right. You're right. Um, do you prefer text or phone calls? I know we're in the text savvy age now. Um, or are you still, you know, old school? You like those phone calls? And, and there's not, I love I love calls as well. Just getting to connect with people more rather than just a message, you know? I think I think it depends on the person that mm-hmm. I'm trying to reach or is trying to reach me. Uh, if it is someone that I'm very close with, text, we can text and we can also do phone calls, actually video calls. I mm-hmm. prefer video calls. I, I prefer to see you, you know, see the expression on your face, see what, you know, see what is going on with you and all that. Exactly. If I'm not really close to you, um, text message. Text messages. And then or or call. So it depends, right? And then from phone calls to video calls. Nice, nice. So they have to win your heart to the point of video calls. <laughs> 
um what about your favorite food what's your favorite food like anytime you bring that one you're like let's go <laughs> my favorite food will be anything made with shrimps I, oh I love, nice you uh, love shrimps shrimpy. okay yeah. amazing amazing and the last question for you what's your favorite genre of music uh, i know you're a gospel artist or you're, you're a music minister so you listen to an, a lot of gospel but in addition to gospel maybe what's your favorite genre or type of music i love r&b okay i love afro i like to nice play. afro beats yeah yeah i love afro beats nice well thank you for going through those questions with us and letting us know you know you a little bit more so really today's episode is faith you know understanding faith and how faith can impact our purpose which in turn impacts our future you know and a lot of people especially in our generation when you talk about faith they're they're kind of turned off they're like oh i'm not a spiritual person or whatever but faith is deeper than that you know for me growing up I always believed that there was a higher power and as I became to know God more I knew that there's a relationship through Jesus you know so as Christians we believe in Jesus as that higher power to which you know we get our, our hope our, our faith and we pray to God in the name of Jesus and he answers but how would you define faith from your perspective faith for me faith for me will be for an intended time and hope mm. it brings our hope into reality mm. it's the foundation that we need to acquire the things that we're longing for mm -hmm. it is the evidence that, that thing that the, the tangibility that we can hold on to that is faith that is faith to me that's that's amazing you know that evidence the tangibility so i'll ask you how does faith impact one's ultimate life purpose you know we all we go through that cycle sometimes we wake up we were born you know we go through the day to day, we get married, you know, you have goals, but how does having faith impact your purpose and why you really are on planet earth? Um, if you could explain that. Um, but, you know, for, for, like I said, it is for, I mean, faith for me is for an intended time and it is something that I'm hoping it is the tangibility sure. of my hope, right? Yes. So for me, most of one thing I've noticed is growing up in children's church in Nigeria, one of the memory verses I learned um, is from Ephesians 2, verse 10. I say, For we are God's workmanship, mm. created in Christ Jesus for good mm, works, which God prepared beforehand mm. that we should walk in them. So mm -hmm. even before each one of us was born, in, even before we were crafted in our mother's womb, mm. God already planned it in advance. Yeah. What we're going to be. Yeah. Like having an advanced way view. You mm -hmm. know? And everything needs, everything we do, everything we need to fulfill God's purpose for our life has been deposited in us, into each one of us. He has mm -hmm. planned that destiny in advance. You know, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, um, for I know the plans I have towards you, thoughts of yeah, good, thoughts of, good. Thoughts, of, thoughts of grace, thoughts of beauty, Peace. thoughts of, mm -hmm. to give you an expected end. Yes. So everything that God, everything that we need to fulfill purpose, everything that we need to be the best version of ourselves has already been deposited in us before we were born, before the foundations of the world. Mm -hmm. We just have to believe what God has written about us in this world. We have to believe it and leave it out on unapolog on unapologetically. Yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to live it out boldly and fearlessly mm. so everything we need everything we need everything and i'm not i'm not going to say nothing nothing left um unsaid everything we need to be all that god has called us to be we have it within us and we have it to leave it out exactly no you pointed something out that really stood out to me for that expected end you know sometimes we we go through life and i think the element of faith helps because god knows the end that's why we call him alpha and omega he was in the yeah. beginning and he knows the end but we're going through the journey and sometimes we get worried or anxious because we're like oh god how would this end but you said there is an expected end for a child of god someone who has faith who believes in god so um that that was just amazing and profound thank you for sharing and another thing another thing is when you know like you said um faith faith is also like uh, trusting god it goes beyond trusting because you have to believe 
and then you have to trust. Mm -hmm. So even though God, yes, God is the Alpha and the Omega. He sees the end from the beginning. He knows everything. He knows what he has deposited in each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So those times where we're feeling fearful or when, when we're feeling anxious, we're feeling nervous, all we need to do is to, you know, realign ourselves back mm -hmm. into that place, into that place of connection, call it kononia. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, reconnect yourself back to God mm -hmm. and receive the strength for that season. Mm -hmm. Because everything we need again, everything, every single thing has been deposited in us right before the foundations of the world. That's amazing. That's amazing. It just segues into my next question. You know, how can someone build their faith? Because the thing sometimes is faith is there, but when we don't know that we have something, you know, it's like someone whose grandmother will them say, you know, a really precious stone and they don't know the value of that stone. They're like, what kind of rock is this? You know? So it takes knowledge and understanding for someone to say, oh, this is precious. So as Christians, how can we build our faith to a point where when we face challenges or situations, we know what to do? What are ways people can build their faith? The Bible says faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing. By the word of God. And hearing mm -hmm. and hearing. So the more I stay with you, Ogechi, the more I become like you. Mm. Because I'm listening to you. I'm listening to the words you're speaking. I'm mm -hmm. listening to the. I'm listening to you um, by watching you. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? So faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. So yeah. you have to surround yourself with people who speak life into you. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with people who speak life over you. Mm -hmm. And speaking it over yourself is also key. Not mm -hmm. just surrounding yourself with people who speak um, life over you or into you. You also, mm -hmm. you also have to speak it over yourself. Mm -hmm. We are in a digital age and yeah. there are so many apps you can use to record yourself affirming mm -hmm. what's wrong for you. Mm -hmm. I like that. Over and over and over again. I like you know, that. You can take your phone, record and record, you record your voice as you're speaking it. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Say for instance, you're struggling with um procrastination look for words in the bible look for scriptures in the bible that you know that talk about that, that um uh, that address you, that scriptures that, that address that particular situation mm -hmm. look for scriptures record yourself listen to yourself over and over again surround again surround your, yourself with people who love you and who are willing to speak life over you and mm -hmm. into you that's amazing. That's amazing. Surround yourself with the right circle who help you birth. Like, you know, having people like you in, in, in my life and in our lives, midwives who help you birth that thing that God has placed inside you. Amazing. Um, so I'm going to go personally. Again, this is sharing stories, you know, tell us a time where your fate was tested. How did you overcome a season? I'll give you a personal example. Just recently this year, you know, I'd been asking God for a promotion at work and it just seemed like it wasn't coming. I got, I got, what's the word? I, I got looked away or looked off last year for a promotion. And so I was a little hurt about it, but I just kept pushing. And then earlier in the year, things started aligning. I got aligned to a project that I really like, you know, and then it seemed like everything was like looking up and I got an offer to go outside my current firm, right? with 10% increase. But the catch was that it wasn't aligned to my purpose. And that's why I'm having this conversation, faith aligned to purpose, you know? I'm saying, God, these people, I'm not sure if they'll give me a promotion. Do I stay here and wait and, and trust you or jump ship to this place where I know it's instant, I have the management level, I want 10% increase, but I know it's not aligned to where I see myself 10 years, you know? So it was a tough decision for me, but I decided to wait on God. I'm still waiting on that miracle of promotion and let go of the 10% because money is not everything and again aligning to purpose you know so I just want you to share with us a time where you're saying do I choose faith do I just go by what I see how have you been able to overcome um just you know share something to encourage the people today all right so there was a time in my life where I and this is very personal because you know yeah but I'm gonna share anyway um there was a time in my life where I was very healed Mm. and I thought I was going to die mm. um, and then I was being wheeled into the theater mm. and 
I just felt like I was going to die anyway, you know. But um, God, God, God brought me back. Hallelujah. God healed me. God used the, the ends of the surgeons and you know the doctors, the nurses mm -hmm. to to restore me, to restore me back to health. So that is an example of a time. <laughs> my Definitely. Friend was actually tested, yeah. Felt yeah. Like even though I was a Christian and, you know, I was confessing. Yeah, yeah. And all that. But, but that shook like, your faith. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really shook my faith. I thought I was going to die. I thought that was going to be, be the end of, mm -hmm. uh, this was around maybe over five years ago. Or wow. Well, yeah. You know, but God's mercy. You're here today. Back, Hallelujah. Here today. You are a living testimony. <laughs> I'm a living testimony. Uh, God is faithful. Thank you for sharing that, you know, and, and so I, can, I think it leads to my next question. In that season, what were the things that helped you? You talked about confessing God's word, you know, what would you recommend to young Christians or even young women who are trying to grow in their faith so that when they're faced with something, they know how to respond, how not to let the issues of life bog them down, how to keep trusting in what God says. The scripture I always hold on to says, Abraham, believed against hope and it was counted to him for righteousness you know when things are happening around you like you said you know the doctor's report and everything but you chose God's word and you knew that God will come through for you what ways um can young people young Christians build their faith um especially when they face challenges for me during that time worship 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 was my my escape mm. it was at those times, it was during that time that God gave me new songs. Mm. He gave me new songs, like songs mm. of the spirit. It wow. was during that time that God gave me new songs. And there were times where I couldn't do anything. I couldn't eat. I couldn't stand. I couldn't sit. All I just mm. did was worship. You know, it was just me and God. At that mm. time, it was just mm. me and God. Mm. And worship, worshiping <laughs> God, singing songs of praise to him was one thing I did. And um, that gave me strength. That's amazing. For young, for young Christians who are looking to, or who might be facing one challenge or the other mm -hmm. um, in their Christian faith, the Bible, the Bible is your number one resource. Mm. Jeremiah 15, 16 says, your words were found and I ate them. And mm. the word was to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God, God of hosts. So knowing the word of God, studying the word of God, Eating the word of God gives mm. you life, it gives mm. you direction, it gives you focus. So the word of God, the Bible, is your number one resource. Okay. So to join a local church. Mm. There are so many churches right now, you know, with the with the era of the we are in the post -COVID. virtual, yes. <laughs> and every every church is going virtual and all that. So find a Bible believing virtual church mm -hmm. that you can attend church that they believe in jesus mm -hmm. in the name of jesus and they yes. believe in the lordship of jesus find a virtual church that you can attend or if your if your city or um country is opening up you can mm -hmm. go to churches that believe in the name of jesus join a small group join a small group fellowship in my church we have what we call the soul care yes and soul care is like a close knit uh group of people people uh, we also have the light of light house fellowship mm -hmm. yeah so join a small group where you can be accountable where people can speak over you and speak into you there are so many <clears throat> online resources christian resources you can also listen to like this podcast for instance is, so is something you can you know benefit from listen to online podcasts christian podcasts like those mm -hmm. you surround yourself mm -hmm. with people will encourage you so that's amazing yeah a lot of nuggets i can take from you today you know surround yourself with the right circle be with people who can encourage your faith join small groups i call them support groups you know right. um listen to things music you said worship helped you get through that season of your life um listen to podcasts because for me as well you know times when i just feel like my faith isn't where it needs to be i just feel kind of empty i go back to the source which is studying the word listen i i love worship listening to worship you know just leaving myself in that presence of God where he can fill me again um and, and like I said listen to things that encourage encourage one, so one thank you before, yes yes one more thing before we go to the next question so if you're a Christian you you also there is the, the scripture says desire gifts mm. so praying in the spirit 
Praying in the spirit is also mm. a way where your faith can grow. When you pray in the spirit, you're 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 speak you're speaking in mysteries to God. You're speaking the mind of God. Mm. So if you don't have that gift, you can look for a, a, a pastor or someone or an elder or a deaconess or a Christian. Another Christian we can pray for you. Mm. Praying in the spirit, and they can you know lead you to God and help you with that. Situation. that's amazing yeah that the spiritual gifts you talked about very good as well and very helpful if you want to be a strong effective christian in this day and age right you need to be prayerful oh that's amazing one more question for you before we wrap up thank you again for joining us on the show how can we follow you get in touch with you for more of your inspirational con- content you know listen to your podcast and you're just doing amazing things. i've heard you sing lead us in worship how can we follow you for more inspirational content? So for people who, who would like to follow me, you can follow me at the Epata Experience podcast. We have, we have we, we, you can find us on all social media platforms. Also on Spotify, podcast. right? Yes. And on podcast, on Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcast. Nice. You can find us on the, at the Epata Experience. Okay. And what about your intrigued woman? Follow you as well on yeah, Instagram. So, <laughs> yeah, for the intrigued woman, if you want to see what we're up to, you can you can visit our visit our web, website, theintriguedwoman.com, okay. or on social media at the intrigued woman. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Adiola. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. You know, you inspire me. Your music blesses me every time I see you on the Sunday ministry. And she's also got a great style. She's just a well-rounded whole woman. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And guys, thank you for tuning in, for watching, for listening. Until next time, God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye.